How's it going ladies and Bruce is up Bobby Six Kill and welcome back to Black Book it's time for us to head out and find that church knife that the guy killed a lady with randomly that's gonna be at the big city apparently with the police I did make one slight edit to the deck um, instead of using this Salmand one that removes status and heals too which is pretty much just there for remove status we've replaced it with this one here this Enaha demon remove three negative status I got two of them, there might be too many, but we'll balance that out as we go. Tar, tar. I think I fell asleep like Vorsa. Vorsa! Hasn't been that long, my man. I didn't know that spirit slept. We do. We do. We quite similar to you people. Except we're animals, remember? What happened to you after Vorsa fell asleep? Philemon took Nimzia. I tried to stop him. No good, no good. Try talking to the peasants, but they run away. I wonder why. <laughs> I'm still young and can change forms. If only I could. Could! So some scary red-eyed raven tried to talk to them when they ran away. Who could have foreseen that? But you came and helped. <laughs> and now, I don't know if it's worth learning how. Is it? Ignorance is darkness. Though it often so happens that knowledge is also darkness. Oh my god, everything is darkness then. Sounds like life to me. Vorsa looks like a mountain when he sleeps. Everyone needs their rest. Animals and spirits too. What do you dream about? How we lead people is true. <laughs> How we're assholes. Oh, cool. Not surprised. That's your favorite pastime. We dream of different things. I dream of beating the Vidinoi in cards and getting his animals. Nice. I've been thinking about what you told me about Vorsa and his family. So you're telling me he's holding some peasant girl right now? No, not anymore. Car, car. He was for a long time, but she died of old age. Grew attached to us. She did. Few are the days of man. Few. There's been no other since. Is he catching them? Not catching. If someone gets cursed, sent to Leshi, then he takes them. If he makes it before chorts, that is... Okay. We got some visitors to talk to. And then we're gonna head out. Oh, it's Nikolai. God be with you. We came to thank you once again, Wisilisa. Here. In the dowry the Abdiriha provided, there was the silver plateau with some horsemen. We decided it might be of use to you. Come on, it's too rich of a gift. Take it for yourself. No, take it. We have enough things like this. Yesterday, for example, we come home and there was another chest. We don't even know from who. The Abdiriha sent another one? Unlikely. I hope it's not cursed. No, they can't curse us now. The other day, some folks saw that nobleman, that Kaldun you beat. So they gave him some more of the old one, too. <laughs> he won't come around anytime soon. Good. It's good you didn't meet him while you were a wolf. Right. All right, we need to go. We have households to fix. Oh, by the way, have you heard that the old Banya burned down? So, is that it? Is your stepmother finished? I don't think so. She must have settled somewhere else. She cannot die. Right. So we're planning to consecrate our banya. Well, until we see you again. Yeah, I burned that down. <laughs> I like how the game reacts to your choices. It's cool. Hello, my name is uh, Sergei Nikolaevich. Uh, God be with you. Oh, you look a fancy man. <laughs> God be with you. So, one more of these noblemen. A cold dune as well. Throw him out of here, Vasily <laughs> oh, Wait a moment. That's new. I am no Kaldun. Well, uh, I wouldn't mind being one. Could you initiate me? I mean, make me a Kaldun at the crossroads? What are you rambling about there, you damn fool? <laughs> wait, Grandpa. Let's hear him out. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you. I brought some gifts, as is proper. Uh, thing is, you are known far and wide throughout the Uyest. I am a collector of folklore here in Cherdin. Even there, they've heard of you. I came here hoping that you'd share some Zagavor texts. Maybe some stories about evil spirits. We can't forget folklore heritage. I will uh, pay you, of course. Okay. Well, you won't be able to use these Zagavors without chorts anyways. Zagavors are useless without chorts at your disposal. Ah, of course, of course. Uh, I will preserve this knowledge for the sake of science. I mean, if he goes, if he goes rogue, we can just kick his ass. You recite several simple Zagavors which the folklorist writes down diligently into his book. Well, uh, happy now. Now uh, go away. <laughs> uh, of course, I understand. 
But maybe you'd like to tell me more when you have the opportunity. You can always find me in Chetden. I'm staying at the local inn. I do hope to see you soon. That's where we're going. I don't like this guy. He'll tell everyone our secrets. Okay. Maybe I'll be a bit more careful then. My bad. We shouldn't run into too many demons in town, right? The sun is starting to set when you reach Cherdian. Towns attract a lot of demons oh. who arrive at the orders <laughs> of their masters to sow strife and corruption. Sometimes even wild chorts come here expecting to find an easy target. This seems to be the case with some you notice along the way. They carefully dart from one tree to another as they approach the town. Let's waste them. All right, 45, pretty strong. You can use black crown, I'm immune to that, so it doesn't matter. Let's curse you, because you've got so much HP. This one here we should be able to pick off with very little effort. Right? At least three. So that's going to be like... Eight to all. So if we do five damage each, that'll take this one out. This one will still be alive. Until we do that, then he won't be. Good. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. A nice warm-up as we walk, get into town, you know. The noisy city streets always seemed strange to you. Your head spins from the network of human fates and that of demons, unseen to regular people. Even now, one man is persuading another to go to a pothouse, and his intentions are not good. You aren't surprised there's a small chort sitting on his left shoulder, constantly whispering something in his ear. You whisper a simple zagavar, and an angry chort leaves his victim. The perplexed man crosses himself and says goodbye to his acquaintance. All right. Keep going. Well, we helped someone. That's the main thing. You can find everything you need in this huge town. You look at multiple shop signs on the majestic stone houses with interest. Fakhrudinov's Fruit and Grocery Shop. Trading House of the Brothers Asovsky. City Bank. I.P. Protopopov's Trading and many others. A violent argument distracts you from the produce shops. A man scolds his horse that is refusing to move. A violent argument between man and horse. <laughs> you aren't surprised. The moment the peasant tugs at the reins, a chort, invisible to him sitting on the back of the horse, gives it the opposite command. The chort is cackling with delight, entertained by the man and his trouble. You whisper a zagavar, and the chort flies away in fright. It's probably someone's short that was sent here for a job. Don't worry, dude. I got you. Maybe we shouldn't tell that guy you any more secrets. Enter the magnificent town church. Catch your breath, read a prayer, and leave it, not daring to approach the altar. The saints from the old icons are angrily watching you as well. Okay, I'm not, I'm not popular then, in in the church. This is what comes with being a witch, huh? You find your learned acquaintance in the company of an angry priest. They seem to be having a violent argument. You again suspect Chort's doing, but no. There aren't any evil spirits nearby. Uh, stop. Hear me out. I do this only for the sake of science. My records may be useful to our descendants. Right, right. Who knows what mysteries of old are hidden in this uh, folk knowledge? I know. Sedan's mysteries. Lord, forgive me. But this is just mythology. Superstitions. They will be printed. To publish such satanic texts in the Holy Land of Perm, disguised as mythology at that? I would personally give you a dozen lashes just for that. You good-for-nothing student. God helps. Ah, Vasilisa Fyodorovna, greetings. Perhaps now is not the best time to write down your texts. Yeah, let's convince the priest, I suppose. Greetings, Father. Perhaps you shouldn't burn this text. They may yet do some good. How's that? How should I convince the priest? 
I heard from the priest in Vilgort that it is forbidden to believe in shorts. Everyone will know? Maybe tell him that everyone will learn about shorts that way. No, it might make things even worse. I should tell him about superstitions. Is it the interest of the church to disprove them? Next thing you know, people will stop believing them. Maybe so. They can't go believe in everything they hear. There's only one belief. Yes, girl. You are probably right. I've gotten rather worked up here. Forgive me. I need to walk it off and cool down a little bit. Goodbye, father. Oh, uh, thank you, Vasilisa Fyodorovna. I thought I might have to give him uh, some of my notes. You know how hard it is to get them. You came to share some more of your precious knowledge? Tell me about evil spirits? Sure. You tell about several events of the past few weeks, and the folklorist accurately writes them down. Amazing! I can only thank you with uh, some tea and... Dumplings. I really don't see how this guy can do any harm, you know? But you might be interested in a story that I wrote down not far from Selikamsk. This is about your colleagues. Okay. You say goodbye to the researcher and go on your way. I mean, information's always good, right? The Cheridan Market. I doubt we're going to find anything worthwhile, but... At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the late hour... Yeah, the yeah, I'm used to it. Um, let's just check Old the peddler. Prices, come and buy some herbs and other goods I've brought for you from the woods. Oh, you're doing a different rhyme now. <laughs> What do you got here? Uh, increase the recharge speed of allies ability. Plus one orders and keys. That's pretty good. Full vampirism. Three curse. And strength and curse by one. That's pretty good. Mm. Decomposure. 40% more XP, but you increase your sins by 3. 3 bless on Battlestar. I think I'm using that one already. Can you use the same one more than once? I wonder. Plus 3 herbs on your own turn. That's nuts. Strength and spikes and weakness. Herbs and Zagavos restore plus 10. Holy crap. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna pass. I don't like buying stuff, you know that. I just roll with whatever we pick up. Oh, there's a place to go, I didn't see that. The decision to take a shortcut through this yard seemed like a good one before you noticed the furry shadow of a Dvaravoy under the low roof of a shed. The unwelcoming eyes of the short glow in the dark. He seems unhappy to have an unexpected guest. You bow to the Dvaravoy spirit and leave some offerings. The satisfied Chort tosses you a half-rotted, crumpled piece of paper and disappears. 120 XP and a Looks new word. Like this paper has an old Zagavar written on it. Find order and read it. Removes page from the book until the end of... Okay. So you can just pick out any order from your deck and use it? That's pretty powerful, man. I'll take that. Back to the merchant house. We're nearly done here. I wanted to hang out in town more. Near the merchant's house, there is some sort of commotion. All of the house servants have run out of the house. Frightened people make the sign of the cross over the building and mutter prayers. You come closer and find out what's going on. A priest was reading prayers over the deceased. But as soon as the sun set, the lifeless body rose. The dead came back to life. The servants let you through as soon as they learn that you are a witch. The merchant's body is lying on the table in the red corner. The priest, white with horror, is cowering in the corner. You come closer and realize that the merchant had dealings with the demons. However, it's not exactly a merchant anymore. A demon has crawled inside his skin. The moment you realize this, the deceased grabs you by the hand. All right, what do we got? Holy shit. He's humongous. And they're all very powerful. <laughs> He's doing a bless plus 10. 
Birdie, activate. You're doing 15, you're doing 15. That's quite a lot of damage. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's go curse on everyone. Otherwise we're going to get hurt. Um, let's drop a curse on you, I suppose. And then I guess we'll go for a big twack on this guy, I suppose. This is going to be a painful turn, I think. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. It's a shame the crows or our companion's ability doesn't go off until the very end of the round. I wish it went off first. That would be pretty good. One and seven. I can live with that. Plus 10 but minus 8. Sucks that he got to do that before uh, he got to attack. I don't know why they just counter each other so this is a plus 2 and that's gone. But I guess it don't matter. What are you doing? Slumber. Can I use ability for 10 turns? Okay. You're both doing that? I can live with that. Inflicts damage triple curse so that's going to be... 63. That's nearly a kill shot on that guy. If we go 5 to all enemies, he will definitely drop. Uh, they're going for 3 damage. I guess we'll try and pick out this middle guy. The one on the far right should be dead. Now that is damage. <laughs> I think I had 100 HP, he's down to 6. <laughs> and the other guy's just dead. You just dead. Don't even worry about it, you dead. I'd rather get rid of this, um... Oh, that only works on them. It doesn't. It doesn't remove negative statuses on me. It only removes positive statuses off them. I guess. Whoops. Bit of a miscommunication there. <laughs> a little bit of a miscommunication there. Anyway. All right. I guess I have to go back to the one I was using before. Finish him. You know, twice the amount of damage if the enemy's going to waste. Well versed and perishable. Waste restores health instead of dealing damage. Wow. You chase away the short, and the lifeless body with a terrible thud falls on the wooden floor. The grateful servants and a priest give you some money and food. I'm just gonna change the book then if I, I misunderstood what that key what that key card was actually capable of. Which is a shame. I just wanted to be able to get rid of waste and stuff. You know? I'm not worried about the healing of it. I'm more worried about the ability to get rid of negative status effects. It's handy. I thought getting rid of three would be pretty great. Too good to be true, I guess. You finally arrive at the police station. You can only hope that the church keeper wasn't sent to the labor camp. This Izabar looks like it was built on an old stone foundation. Is there anything to see around here? Storage? You look inside the shed. Looks like evil spirits dwell here. You can try to talk to the evil spirits. But it's better to find the church keeper first. Okay, can we have this herb at least? Yes, please. Dog mushroom. Interesting. Can we go to that one? No. Alright, let's go into the police station then. Hello, Mr. Policeman. God bless. Well, what do you need? Say it quickly. I have things to do. 
I'm looking for a church keeper from Vilgert who killed a woman. He's there, sitting in this cell. You can talk to him, but not for a long time. Come on, quickly. I have lots of things to do. Such as? They say he killed a woman, right? Do you have the knife he did it with? I don't have time for girls loitering here. This isn't a museum, do you understand? There is no knife. We didn't find it. Everything is clear without it. I need you to let that man go. Right. And I need my command to... Uh, to give me a bonus. Quick thinking there, my man. Anyway, let's go talk to this guy, I suppose. What a grim place. Wait, where is he over here? Sure, sure. Daughter, daughter. Mikhail Nikiforovich. Huh? Who? What? You. You came for me. You came back. Came back. The keeper cowers in the corner of his cell in fear. Sure, sure. Ah! Hey, keep quiet down there. It's me, Vasya. Do you remember? Vasya? Right. Hold Igor's granddaughter. Remember? Vasilisha, what are you doing here? She'll find you. You're in danger. What's wrong, Mikhail Nikiforovich? What's so dangerous? You'll see. That woman will get you. She's alive. Still alive. I saw it with these very eyes. Don't you understand? When they walked me over here, she was looking at me. Daughter! Daughter! Hey, enough with the ruckus! You don't have any daughters, Mikhail Nikiforovich. Not the daughter. A pig. Don't you get it? A pig! Oh, of course I don't get it. What the fuck are you talking about? So... A changeling. They say you killed some woman with a knife. There was no woman, but a pig! It ran up the porch. I thought I'd catch it. I came up to it with a knife, and it hopped over to me. I swung my hand and hit it, and it turned out to be a witch. Understand? She turned into a woman from a pig? Right. You know how it is. You and your grandpa. They don't believe me. I saw this pig when they were leading me to the town. I see it here sometimes, in the shadows. Its eyes glowing. It's alive. That pig, a witch! Where's the knife? Oh, no, no! I know where you're after it! To finish off that witch! But I have to do that myself! Kill her! If you set me free, we'll go together. That woman was buried in the cemetery. I know where she is. Let's finish her off, yes. She won't leave me alone. I can't release him. Can I? I'll get in trouble with the police. I don't want that. We already do some dodgy stuff. You look inside the shed. You can try to talk to the spirits of the police station. Ah, oh, another witch. We know why you come. You all need the same thing. You all want to steal somebody from our izba. Well, well, you want without our help. We know of a secret passage, but we won't tell you. Really? You know something? Let's ask them a riddle. Right. I remember the riddle itself, but the answer. How did it go? Put on his boots wrong, put on his clothes wrong, fell in a pothole, can't climb out at all. Horses and posts don't usually dress themselves. Fell in a pothole. Maybe a post that fell down. No, it seems I can't remember. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fight them. We'll see how you'll talk when I curse you. <laughs> we'll see who will curse who. We will see, won't we? Can't use herbs. Seven and five. You don't seem very threatening to me. Just saying. <laughs> like, you know, I want to take you seriously, but at the same time, you're not very scary. Eight to all enemies. It's not enough to kill him. If we switch to this, we should kill him. Because he'll be cursed as well. Alright, whatever. Take him out. Oh, it didn't work. Never mind then. 
At least he's not doing any damage. Although we're quite hurt, to be honest. I'm quite surprised how much damage we've taken. That last fight was pretty, pretty brutal though. Should be able to pick them off pretty well now. I don't think we need more curse. Let's go with George the Father. Five to all. See depth on this one. Because that'll guarantee him dying. Let's see how you handle this. Good. <laughs> Some of the Chorts scatter in fear, but you catch one of them and make it show you a secret passage. After dark, you pass unnoticed into the police station through the secret way and set the church keeper free. Now, after me, to the cemetery, yes. Yeah, we're breaking people out of prison now. Here, right. Wait. Maybe we don't need that witch. The keeper stops near a ditch, picks up the knife, and hurriedly hides it in his clothes. Come on then. I'm not gonna take it off you. Let's go kill a corpse. You reach the Cherdin Town Cemetery. It's much larger than the one you're used to in Vilgert, but much smaller than the one Vakul had. Ribbons of fog sliver between old tombstones. It's quiet here. Too quiet. Of course it's smaller than Vakul's one. Everybody that drowned is in Vakul's one. That's a lot of fucking people. <laughs> That's a potentially very full graveyard. <laughs> Wormwood grass. Okay. There's another herb here, but I'm not sure if we can get over to it. There it is. Kaluka herb? Where are we going? Which grave is it? I see. Judging by the fact that it swung us that way. Oh, shovel. Might need that. You find an old shovel and take it with you. So we're, you know, digging up a grave in that. Can right. need a shovel. You got it? Well, I'll dig. We'll deal with her now. Alright. In the meantime, I'll draw a circle. Bring on the corpse. He's aware that he's like a, uh, a fugitive now, right? Damn, that is quite the pig. I see why you stabbed it. Alright, attempt number two. He's using our strategy against us, which is horrifying. I was not expecting this guy to come out here and start doing our own strategy back on us. That's really craptacular. Yeah, he's a Khuldun. Alright, we might as well go ham in the first turn. Oh, I should use Bless first though. I'm not sure we can win this. Because we're trying to use the same strategy. With his 400 HP, he's definitely better equipped for the strategy than I am. He's going to go for C depth, which is going to do 33 damage to us if we let him. Which is an insane amount of damage. We got one that ignores the next incoming damage, right? Remove one harmful status, I could do that. Absorb all attack from the next enemy's attack. Next damage. Alright, let's do that. And to protect us for a turn while we kick the shit out of him. We need to go in, and we need to go in hard. We can only hold that out for so long, though. Nine. More curse. I don't know how much damage. 129 damage. That was good damage. We can only... I mean, we can only keep that up for so long, though. 
He's going to do the exact same thing again. So we can just do the damage absorption thing again. I haven't got a card to remove the status effect off of us. There's not much I can do to like prevent him doing more damage to us. That's our last herb of that kind. But our curse is starting to wane now, so he, they can't hit us for as much damage anymore. Now he's only going to be hitting us for 9 times 3, because it's 27. Right? Except he's using waste now. And C depth. But we can kill him in one shot pretty much now, right? With C depth? 56, he's dead. Do that once and he's done, right? Fire. That was pretty scary though. Someone using my own strategy against me, I'm not into that. The keeper pierces the powerless pig with his knife, and she turns into an ordinary woman. Did you see that? Did you see that? While I didn't doubt that some witch put a Zagava on you. I knew it. This also happened to my wife. Some daughter used to wander around the house. Then my wife died of some curse. Now she got what she deserved. Sure, sure! Mikhail Nikiforich. What she deserved. Deserved! <laughs> the old groundskeeper bends over the body and starts muttering something. You're an angry man. Mikhail Nikiforich, let's go. Be quick. You take the knife, and before going back, you render the dead woman harmless. She won't bother anyone now. Plus three to bliss, nice. Dragging the old keeper behind you with quite some effort, you leave Cherdin. By morning, you'll bring him to his distant relatives. Will they be able to help him? With unhappy thoughts, you return home. That was a scary fight. I didn't like that. I hope no one else does that. I don't like fighting other Coldoons. I like getting to go so first. So I went back then. Some witch was after him then. I've heard about this kind of witches, the ones turning into cattle. All the lot are crazy. So, you've managed to deal with her? Good. Our business will benefit it. I've heard that the police were searching for Nikifrich, but they never found him. Maybe he'll be able to escape. Well, to hell with him. Kupala Knight is coming. We saved him. What to hell with him? What are you going to look for? Um, the towel. The church towel Savelli took to Pentiag. The priest said that he's fighting with some evil spirits in Church of the Epiphany. Yeah, <laughs> he always wanted to be some kind of an inquisitor or something. Oh wow, sounds like a lovely man. This church has been long forgotten, and now it's even worse than that. No one knows the reason, so you're going to find it out. To Pintiak then. Well, I should start preparations. And with that, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Good first mission. Scary boss, but, you know, we still got there in the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.